Right away then, uh, day two after the tune, I'm done at the range. Uh, I'm going to test the rifle out now, see what it's capable of doing. Similar to what I've been doing with uh, a couple of the other tests, I'll zero out 40 yards and then I'm going to shoot a reactive target of 50 yards as far out as it will go. So uh, we'll see how she performs accuracy wise. I'm not expecting it to be pretty good actually. Uh, I will be doing chronographing again. Uh, if you remember back to yesterday, I was getting probably around 80 shots, averaging 11.6 foot pound. Uh, 92 shots, averaging uh, over that range. Uh, 11.5 foot pounds and then after that it drops off uh, so we're probably getting about 95 shots and that will be then over that shot string will be averaging about 11.3 foot pounds and then it drops right off from there so it goes off the regulator probably after about 92 shots but even out to uh, around 98 shots it's still averaging 11.3 so as far as I'm concerned it's on two uh, so uh, just going to find out what the uh, accuracy is doing today so uh, we'll get on with the test Okay, the uh, target set up at 40 yards, so we'll do a zero on that and then uh, we'll push it out. Okay. Red dot. As you can see, apart from the one I pulled, they're all grouping. Still probably about a quarter inch. If you look at the yellow dots, they're a five pence piece. That's well under a five in the main group there. At 40 yards, so we're pretty pleased with that. 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to go out there now and push it out to 50 yards and see if it's on target at 50, which it probably will be where the elevation is on that and then uh, we'll see how tight we can get. I'll aim for the yellow dot. So uh, that is the next part of the thing. Yeah, really pleased with that. So. <sighs> Easily covered. So you're not covering a quarter of that, so 40 yards, it's uh, spot on. Okay, we're now at 50. Put that to 50. Now hopefully the, uh, the pallet should drop straight into where it needs to be at 50. Right, I'm going to go for the yellow dot to the left of the red. Yellowed up to the right of the target. Top left. Okay, so five out of six are within a five pence piece. All six are just outside of it. Right, I'm 
start pushing it out now. So uh, I'm going to get the spinners up there, we'll reset the target and uh, we'll see how we get on. Yeah, pretty tight that one. Okay, 90 yards. Three and a half miles up at ninety. Seven hundred. Yeah, wind. Yeah, I can see it's uh, well, just in for wind and it's dropping off again. So it's going on either side of where I'm aiming at. I'm aiming on that. Right. Aim to the right. Yeah, blasted wind. Obviously, the further out you get, the more it's going to affect it. It's actually blowing quite hard down here, but you get crosswinds as well, so. Gets to a point where even though you know you're hold over, you can't count for the wind. So if it was indoor, it'd be easy. But it ain't, is it? Normal outdoor conditions. Which means uh, anything goes. <sighs> 90 yards is a long way for a sub 12 foot paddle. I mean, that's it. 700. So the wind must have dropped up that end, but it's still blowing down here. Hit the post so it's blowing to the left a bit. Still blowing, I can see that one. Last one was a empty mag.
91 shots so I need to top up now I'll just go with uh, see what the foot poundage is So I've got an average of 11 and a half foot pounds, a high of 11.8, a low of 10.4. So it's still spot on. 91 shots, and then we'll refill. So I'll top the rifle up and I'll stick it out 200 yards. Right, going to 100 yards. I put the uh, target up there, but there's a dip. I didn't realise, so you can't really see the target. Uh, to the right of the bar, you can just see the top of the frame. Well, because of that, I'm going to go for the selection of spoons we've got there. Oops. Just top up the uh, mag. We're at 100 yards now. Going to give it five mil dots to roll over. Uh, I have topped it up, so we should be back where we were. There shouldn't be any problems. All right. Sometimes a good idea to do a, a dry shot after you've topped up the rifle. That the regulator balance in, isn't it? Okay then. One, two, three, four, five. That's all that. Going to the left of the target. Still going left. That's where I end up. A blasted wind. Sorted out the uh, elevation. Uh, say one, two, three, four, and a half. Still going to the left. Flag out, it's blowing. 
What's down here? And then it's, uh, it's blowing different up there, so all these crosswinds and that. Make this the uh, the last three magazines. See, it's getting a bit uh, a bit ridiculous now. When it's on and off up there. <sighs> All right, I was on it then. I was actually aiming at it. It's gone to the left, I believe. That hit the ball, which is about four or five inches to the left of it. Are even smaller, I don't know why, but I am. Watching the branch next to it. to the left. I think that's it anyway. Yeah, man. Okay then. Sorry I couldn't continue. But the wind is doing that up there. Between this and down there it's uh, going in both directions and then sometimes it's on target, other times it's as much as five inches left or right. So, uh, Gun is capable of uh, hitting targets out to 100, but not with this wind. It's really blowing here now. So then, thanks for watching. Rifles, uh, as far as I'm concerned, too much really well. Uh, one of my better rifles now. Um, one of the original Brocops. Be nice to see. Uh, Day State Brocop come out with a classic version of the Brocop again. I mean, all, all the rifles since they've had it have tended to be tactical, but they're now doing a tactical for the uh, Day State, so why not do a, a classic for the Brocops? Let's see. It might already be in the pipeline, because we never know what they're doing. I mean, they kept the, uh, the Delta all quiet from us, and that's been in the, in the pipeline for the last two years. I mean, we, we've been testing the barrels over the last uh, 18 months. Uh, not done any recently, but uh, yeah. 
coming out with some good stuff. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you soon.